By the end of my three minute talk today, another 12 women across the globe will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Thankfully, due to the many advancements in anti-cancer agents, breast cancer is no longer the death sentence it once used to be. However, as more women are surviving their cancer, we're starting to see a more sinister side of these anti-cancer agents. Particularly, the work in our lab has shown that about one in four women who take these anti-cancer agents will develop injury to their heart. What this ultimately means is that if the cancer doesn't kill them, heart disease down the road will. This raises a very important question. Is there a way to protect the hearts of these women, but also keep these drugs within their treatment plan? Yes, enter aerobic exercise. Numerous studies have shown that exercising during the course of cancer therapy can protect the hearts of these women. So great, problem solved, right? Unfortunately not. While we know that this exercise is beneficial for these women, actually getting them to follow through with an exercise program, it's a whole another challenge. And can we blame them? Most of the exercise programs currently in place are hospital-based. And for women who already have to come to the hospital multiple times a week, they don't want to come back to exercise. Additionally, with the COVID-19 pandemic, this hesitancy to come to the hospital has only increased. So our research team here at the University of Manitoba designed a state-of-the-art, personalized, home-based aerobic exercise program. And compared to the hospital-based counterparts, our program provides three additional benefits. Firstly, it is cost efficient as it doesn't require any additional equipment. Two, through the use of polar heart rate watches, our women are able to exercise according to their own schedules. And thirdly, perhaps most importantly, all of this can be done within the comfort of their own home. And having run this study for one year, our results are astonishing. Compared to the hospital-based programs, which only have a compliance of 40 to 50%, our home-based exercise program was followed 94% of the time. Additionally, compared to the group that did not exercise, by taking pictures of the heart, we're able to see that our woman who exercised was able to maintain a healthier heart during the course of their cancer therapy, meaning we can almost guarantee that they don't need to see a cardiologist in the future. So yes, by the end of my talk today, 12 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. But this paradigm shift in bringing exercise to the home will ensure that these women don't also become tomorrow's cardiac patients. Thank you.